Well, last July, uh, July 2012, we had a big fire at the school which destroyed one of the boarding houses. Uh, inspired by um, the rebirth and the, the regeneration of the community, uh, one of our parents, uh, Paul King, who displays each year at the Chelsea Flower Show, decided to design a garden based around the fire and the rebirth. Uh, and so behind me you can see the, the burning building and the flowers and we'll be using the flowers uh, in, in the garden of the new house when that opens uh, later in 2000. Pupils here uh, since the, since the uh, garden was brought up here, so pupils were involved in, in setting it up, putting it together, and they've been here every day talking about their time in the house and their experiences. Where were you when the blaze broke out? <laughs> I was driving up, I'd been in London actually, uh, visiting family, and I got a call on the M11 uh, to tell me that uh, there was a fire at the school. So I was about a half an hour away and uh, as I drove back into the village uh, you could see the smoke rising and came back to see the, the fire brigade uh, fighting but in vain to save the building. You must have been considerably concerned. Yeah, I mean the, the first concern was whether there was anybody in the building uh, at the time and whether, whether anybody was at risk. Fortunately, uh, fortunately everybody who was in there, we had about 15 language students in there, uh, they were all out quickly and safely, so there were no injuries and no loss of life. Uh, then it just became a, a, the organisation of trying to, uh, trying to sort out what we needed to do, uh, losing a boarding house, and how we would get the school back up and running in time for the new term in September. Was there ever an explanation for the fire? No, we, we, had, uh, we had three investigators. We had uh, a fire investigation, we had a, a police investigation, and we had uh, an insurance investigation. But because the fire had been so intense, there was nothing left for them to, nothing left for them to find. So the supposition was that it, uh, it had started possibly due to an electrical thing, uh, but never, never entirely sure. What's the history of Folly Field House? Well, the, the building itself uh, was, went up in 1924. Uh, originally, it had been a boys' boarding house because the school, school was all boys. Then it converted to becoming a girls' boarding house, which is what it was uh, at the time of the fire. Uh, Follyfield will, will come again. Follyfield is, uh, is already back up in one sense because we have a, a temporary boarding house bearing the name and we're in the process of building a new house which will also carry the, the name. things that we're, we're looking ahead to is 2014 which will be the 450th anniversary of the school. So part of the idea of the, the celebration of the garden is not just to look back at the fire but to look forward to the rebirth. Uh, so the, the, name of the, the name of the garden is Sergimus uh, Ex Kinere which means we rise from the ashes. And so part of the display is looking, looking back to the 400th anniversary when the Queen Mother visited us and looking ahead to the 450th, uh, which we'll celebrate next year with a new folly field. Uh, and then the, the part in the middle is looking at the, the sense of community within the house. So the, the flowers showing follies forever, uh, and then the, the, the figures holding hands are supposed to represent the girls. And then in the background, there's a piece of artwork which the girls themselves have created. So you have portraits of members of the house uh, painted by girls who are in the house. It goes back, as I say, nearly 450 years. So it's got a, it's got a long history. Our founder is a chap called Richard Lord Rich, and we'll be uh, celebrating his anniversary next year. Uh, it, uh, it was a boys' boarding school uh, until 40 years ago, just over 40 years ago. Girls joined in the sixth form. Now we're fully co-ed all the way through from age four up to 18. So it's a, it's a school that can see you through from a very young age right the way through to university. And what future does it have in a modern world? <laughs> I think it's got a very strong future. Uh, and I think, uh, I think one of the things that Felsted stands for is a very strong education. Um, we look to educate the whole person. Uh, we look to educate them academically, but also to train them for the world outside. And I think there's always a place in the world for, for that kind of education.